Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through a tutorial on how to use the voice commands in your Tesla vehicle. Now, if you want an exhaustive list of all the different voice commands that you can use, I'll have a link to the owner's manual through the Tesla website posted down in the video description. If you'd like to check that out, what I'm gonna do is go over the voice commands that I use most often, and then towards the end of the video, things that I use a little bit less often. But first and foremost, we use voice commands by clicking in once on the right scroll wheel. And one of the most common things that I do is use this for navigation. So clicking in, navigate to Meyer. So I say where I want to go, and for me, this was Meyer. It'll show me all the Meyer that are in my general vicinity. Then I can click on the Meyer that I'd like to go to, and then it will route me to that area. Now I'm gonna cancel out of this. The next very common thing that I use voice commands for is to place phone calls. And to do this, again, you do one click of the right scroll wheel and then say the name or the phone number of the person that you'd like to call. You can also do this with text messages. The same thing, you click once in on the right scroll wheel, say the name of the contact or the phone number that you'd like to text, and then read out the text message. And then after you do that, you click in the right scroll wheel to send that message. Now, if you wanna redo that message, you can also double click in the right scroll wheel and then speak out that text message again. Now, to turn this feature on, we're gonna to wanna to go to our Bluetooth settings and we do that by clicking on the three horizontal dots down here to open up our menu. Click on Bluetooth and then click connect phone. I can see what phone that I currently have connected up over Bluetooth. And for making calls, you wanna make sure that you have sync contacts and recent calls toggled to the on position. And for text messaging, you wanna make sure that you have synced messages toggled to the on position. And now exiting out of that. Additionally, we can use the voice commands to play music, for instance. So let's say I wanted to listen to a classical music playlist. What I would do is click in on the scroll wheel and say, play classical music playlist. And then it's playing that classical music playlist through my Spotify. Using the voice commands for music, you can also increase and decrease volume, go to the next track, go to the previous track, do play or pause, or maybe name out a specific song that you'd like to listen to. But pretty much all of those features, I just use the left scroll wheel to accomplish. Of course, volume up and down is scrolling the left scroll wheel up and down. Going to the next track is pushing the left scroll wheel to the right, whereas going to the previous track is pushing it to the left. And this is gonna be the case with a number of these voice command options where I feel like there's either the physical buttons or touching the screen that's maybe a little bit more intuitive or quicker than using the voice commands itself. And this is also the case with using voice commands for the climate controls. At least from my experience, I prefer just opening up the climate controls and adjusting them through here or just turning up or down the temperature right in this area. But through the voice commands, you can do things by saying, make it cooler, make it warmer, turn on or off the heated seat, direct the airflow to my face, increase or decrease the fan speed, turn on or off the rear defroster, or also doing this for the front defroster or defogger, as well as setting the temperature to a specific number or the fan speed to a specific number. But again, instead of using these voice commands, I just prefer touching the screen because I find it a little bit quicker. We can turn on and adjust our windshield wipers. So clicking in the right scroll wheel, turn on windshield wipers, turn off windshield wipers. You can also command it to increase or decrease the speed of your windshield wipers. But this is another one of those things where I just use the stock over here on the left to turn on my windshield wipers, clicking in the button on the end. And then I can adjust my wipers. And a lot of you guys are probably just gonna have your wipers on auto, which generally does a pretty good job. A voice command that I also find useful is opening up the glove box. So clicking in, open the glove box. And then you can do things like turning on or off sentry mode, locking and unlocking the car, turning on or off dog mode, folding in or unfolding your side view mirrors, opening up or closing the charge port, starting or stopping charging when your vehicle is plugged in. And you can also search for things such as apps that you have. So for instance, I can click in, open YouTube, and then it'll open up the YouTube app. And you can do this, of course, with games or other apps and features that you'd like to have it open or close. You can use the voice command for that. So I hope this video was helpful, kind of walking you through a general guideline on a lot of the different voice commands that you can use in your Tesla vehicle. Again, if you'd like to view the owner's manual page of the voice commands from the Tesla website, I'll link that down in the description. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.